This video is sponsored by Fox 3 Managed Solutions. We provide DCS service for any size group, squadron or air wing. You can find the link to their website in the description below. All footage in this video is recorded on a Fox 3 server. Hello everybody, Hoist here from Mean Streak. Welcome to another video. And today we're going to be conducting a scientific study uh, on whether we can launch a missile into space. Now we're here above the Nevada Test and Training Range, right around where Area 51 is. Now, first, let's clarify what do we consider space. Well, we're going to use the international definition, and space, they say that space starts above the Karman line, which is 100 kilometers above sea level, or 62 miles, but the magic number we're going to be looking for is 328,084 feet. All right? Now, our contestants for today are going to be the AIM-7 Sparrow, fired from this F-18, then an AIM-120 AMRAAM, Charlie variant, <coughs> fired from an F-16, AIM-54 Phoenix, fired from an F-14, and an AIM-120 AMRAAM Delta variant, fired from an F-22. Then we're going to go Russian, and it's going to be an R-27ER, fired from an Su-27, an R-77, fired from an Su-30, and a meteor launch from a Eurofighter Typhoon. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be nice and level around 30,000 feet, and we're gonna get supersonic. We're gonna get to about 700 knots true airspeed. And once we're there, we're gonna pitch up, and when we get to 90 degrees vertical, we're just gonna launch and see what happens. All right, let's get real quick, and then I'll be back. There we go, we're at 700 knots true airspeed, and we're gonna start pitching up nice and easy so we don't break off the wings and we don't lose too much airspeed. And that's 25 degrees. 50 degrees. 70 degrees. And there we go, 90 degrees. That's a Fox 2. And let's follow the missile. Let's see what happens. not exactly vertical it's kind of it's kind of kind of leveling off a little bit I don't think well I'm not expect, expecting much out of the sparrow yeah it's not gonna go far but still we got to do our due diligence yeah hundred and five thousand feet yeah it's not gonna go further it's above it's already below a thousand knots yeah 108 119 thousand feet 120 thousand 120 123 thousand and it's not gonna go much further than that there you go alrighty next up is the aim 120 Charlie fire, fired from an F-16. We are already above 700 knots, so let's go. Let's start pitching up. Go. Nice and smooth. And 90 degrees. And that's a Fox 3. And let's follow that, see what happens. Oh, the, the motor cuts out really early on the AMRAMs. Eighty-five thousand feet. Hundred thousand feet. I was getting wobbly here. Hundred twenty-five thousand feet, which me, which means it beat out the Sparrow. 140,000 feet. Hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. Now we're getting real high. And that's a hundred eighty thousand feet. And it's losing energy pretty quickly, it's not gonna go much higher. Hundred and ninety thousand. Ooh, that went dark real quick. 200,000 feet. Two, 
210,000. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. That's not supersonic anymore. 220,000 feet. That looks pretty spacey right here. But yeah, 225,000, and it's not going to go much further than that. Twenty twenty eight thousand, and that's it. It started dropping. Alrighty, here we are in the F fourteen Tomcat. We have our Phoenix is good to go, and we are above seven hundred knots, so we're gonna pull up nice and gentle. We know how feisty this plane can get. There we go, thirty degrees. And that's 60 degrees. And that's 90 degrees. And that's a Fox 3. LS follow that one. Going up nicely. Phoenix should go far because it's got a lot of range. Already 75,000 feet and climbing. 85,000. Oh, motor just cu cut out. And let's see how far it gets. 110,000. Hundred and twenty-five thousand. Still doing 1,500 knots. That's, that's promising. Hundred and sixty thousand feet. Hundred eighty thousand. Oh, it's kind of leaning to one side now. Come on, give me another hundred and ten thousand. Only hmm. two hundred thousand feet. All right, uh, it's getting slow. It's about to not. It's it's about to drop below supersonic. Two hundred twenty thousand. Yep, 230,000. Yeah, it's not going to go much further than that. Look at it, 400 knots and dropping. Yeah. Oh, and it just exploded on us. That, it did not like space. Alrighty, here we are in the F-22 Raptor, about to launch an M120 AMRAAM Delta variant. Now we are already above 700 knots, so we're just going to go pitch up real quick. There we go. Nice and smooth. And that's a Fox 3. And let's follow it real quick. It's already cut out as well, but it's going a lot faster than the Charlie variant was. 80,000 feet. It's getting wobbly as well. 100,000 feet. 110,000 almost. There we go. Hundred thirty thousand feet. Hundred fifty thousand feet. All right, hundred seventy. Oh, it's all over the place, going wobbly now. And we got two hundred thousand feet. And yeah, it's not gonna go much further than this. Look at it. Look, look at how slow it is. Two hundred twenty thousand. Well, at least it's gonna beat the MRAM Charlie. 
230,000 feet. Two hundred thirty five thousand There we go. Two hundred thirty eight thousand nine hundred. All right, here we are in the SU twenty seven flanker. We're about to launch an R twenty seven ER and we're just hit seven hundred knots, so let's go and pitch up. Come on. There we go. I know, I know. Go, that's 40 degrees. 60, 70, 80, and 90. That's a Fox 2. Alright, well actually, yeah, that is a Fox 2. Alright, 70,000 feet. Actually looking promising. Doing 26 to uh, almost 2600 knots. 115,000. Okay. I'm liking this. 150,000. Still doing 200, tw like 2200 knots. That's okay. That's promising. Two hundred thousand feet. Don't, don't tell me it's gonna beat the Phoenix. It's gonna beat the Phoenix. Well, that's interesting. Yep, two hundred forty thousand. It just beat the Phoenix. This is coming close, very close. Two hundred eighty thousand. Still doing 1,500 knots. 300,000. This, uh, this one, this missile could actually do it. 314,000. 320,000. Oh, and it disappeared on us. All right, here we are in the SU-30. We're about to launch an R-77. We're well above 700 knots, so let's give this a try. No vertical. Yeah, that's a Fox 3. Let's see. Oh, it is going fast. Oh, the motor's already out, so 80,000 feet, 2,000 knots. Looking like it's headed in the right direction, which is up, but let's see how it does. 140,000 feet. Hundred and seventy thousand feet. Still doing good. Good, I'm liking it. There we go. The light cut out. Two hundred and five. Wow, can't believe it's not gonna go as far as the 27 ER. 230,000. Wow. Yeah, 240. Okay, I expected more. From the R seventy seven. Gotta say I did. Twenty Oh and it blew up at about two hundred and forty nine thousand. And here's our last contestant of the day, the Eurofighter Typhoon fighting the Meteor missile. Now we're at seven hundred knots, so let's pull up, 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 up. Oh, kinda blacking out there a little bit. 
and we're vertical. And that's a Fox 3. Let's see. Ooh, that's climbing. And accelerating. 80,000 feet and about to break 3,000 knots. So yeah, that's going places. Yep, that's going places. Only 40,000 feet, still accelerating. Four thousand knots and two hundred thousand feet. Okay, yeah, this is definitely going into space. And there we go, just forty-six hundred knots and three hundred twenty, and disappeared at the same place as the R twenty-seven. There we go. There you have it, folks. The results are. None of the American-made missiles made it. They, none of them even broke 250,000 feet. With actually the Phoenix coming the closest with 239,000 feet. Then we have the Russian missiles. The R-77, the long-range one, didn't break 250,000. We got to 249,000. That exploded. And the R-27, which is actually classified as an extended-range missile, made it to space as the, the meteor missile launched from the Eurofighter. So yeah, there we go. And we've also learned that missiles don't like space because they just disintegrate there. They just vanish. But I'm guessing just DCS doesn't do space. Well, all right. That was it, folks. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And see you all in a future video. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.